Good morning and thanks for joining us for this CBS 19 This Morning update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. Six East Texans are facing charges in a Longview meth bust. Police say they found 200 grams of meth in several stolen cars at a home in the 1900 block of Willis Drive early Saturday morning. Jerry Holt, Brandy McAllister, Stephen Canada, Lacey Dorgan, Carl Gearhart, and Leland Curtis are being held on a $50,000 bond. Happening now, a robbery suspect is on the run after hitting a family dollar in Tyler. It happened Sunday morning in the 1500 block of North, Northwest Loop 323. A clerk told police the man entered the store. Using his shirt, he covered his face and demanded money. The suspect is described as a black man about six feet tall. He was last seen wearing a black jacket, green shirt, and jeans. Laterno University breaks ground on its new nursing school. According to a study by the U.S. Department of Labor, the nursing field is expected to grow by 20% by 2020, and Texas is currently behind in the number of nurses. Laterno's Vice President of Enrollment, Terry Cruz, says the school's addition will help bring more medical employees to the state. We started thinking a couple of years back about how we could better serve the health care needs of the local community. So um, we started thinking about what that might look like for us, what it would look like for Laterno. Laterno joins East Texas, other East Texas universities in helping educate aspiring nurses. Kilgore College and UT Tyler Longview have teamed up to, to provide students an easy transition from an associate's degree to obtaining a bachelor's. Stephen F. Austin in Nacogdoches accepts more than 200 nursing students every year. Well, I hope everyone really enjoyed those days we had of cooler temperatures in July, because unfortunately, yeah. that's not sticking around. Yeah, we are back to reality as we head into this week. Scott Fossey has our Monday and the rest of the week forecast. Scott. Clinton Dana, your Monday forecast across the Piney Woods of East Texas after enjoying very cool temperatures, at least comparatively speaking, to where we should be this time of the year over the last several days. Mother Nature is now returning us to July-like weather all week long. We should see temperatures soaring to around 90 degrees at lunchtime, a southeast wind at 4 to 6 miles per hour. Highs today should round out actually above normal for this time of the year by about 3 or 4 degrees, topping out near 96 for your afternoon highs. Today. It'll feel like close to 100 with the temperature humidity index factored in. Hour by hour today, any isolated shower or thunderstorm activity right along and just possibly to the north of the I-10 corridor south of us here in the East Texas area. Upper level ridge of high pressure centered out over West Texas, far eastern New Mexico will continue to expand and build our direction, especially latter part of the week. On Wednesday, there will be a slight chance for scattered afternoon and evening thunderstorms with a disturbance coming in from the north and west. We dry out after that, warm up going into the week and highs upper 90s. <laughs> Ooh, it's July again. Mm -hmm. For the very latest all day long, go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. Then tune in later today for CBS19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10. Have a great day.